Hello students, in the previous video, we saw exercise 12.1, sum number 3, 4 and 6. Today, we are going to continue exercise 12.1 and solve some more sum. So, let us solve the sums. Exercise 12.1 Question number 7 Find the ratios of the following Students, in this question we have to find out the ratio for each and every sub-questions but in this question the units are not same So, before finding out the ratios we have to compulsory convert one unit to another unit in order to get the same unit without affecting or changing its value. Students, we will convert the bigger unit into smaller unit and we know that when we convert the bigger unit into smaller unit, then we multiply. So now, let us solve sum number 7 and find out the ratios after converting the bigger unit into smaller unit. Sum A, 1 hour equal to 60 minutes. So, 1.5 hour equals to how much? By cross multiplying, we get 1.5 into 60 upon 1. Now, multiplying 1.5 by 60 and keeping the denominator 1 as it is. We get 90 upon 1. Now, dividing 90 by 1, we get 90. Thus, 1.5 hours equals to 90 minutes. Now, let us solve sum number 7, sub question A. This you of 30 minutes to 1.5 hour equals to ratio of 30 minutes to 90 minutes equals to 30 upon 90. Now, reducing 30 upon 90 into simplest form by their SCF 30 we get 30 divided by 30 upon 90 divided by 30. Now, dividing 30 by 30 and also 90 by 30, we get 1 upon 3, which is equals to 1 is to 3. Thus, required ratio is 1 is to 3. Now, sum B, 1 liter equals to 1000 milliliters. So, 2 liters equals to how much? By cross multiplying, we get 1000 into 2 upon 1. Now, multiplying 1000 by 2 and keeping the denominator 1 as it is, we get 2000 upon 1. Now, dividing 2000 by 1, we get 2000. Thus, 2 liters equals to 2000 milliliters. Now, let us find out the ratio of 500 milliliters to 2000 milliliters and solve sum 7D. 
ratio of 500 milliliters to 2000 milliliters equals to 500 upon 2000 now reducing 500 upon 2000 into simplest form by their spf 500 we get 500 divided by 500 upon 2000 divided by 500 now dividing 500 by 500 and also 2000 by 500 we get 1 upon 4 which is equals to 1 is to 4 Thus, the required ratio is one is to four. Student, solve some B and C by yourself. Now, sum number eight. In a year, Sima earns rupees one lakh fifty thousand and saves. Rupees fifty thousand. Find the ratio of money that Sima earns to the money she saves, and B money that Sima saves to the money she spends. Students, in this question, we have to find out two ratios. They are. Ratio of money earned by Sima to the money she saves, and ratio of money saved by Sima to the money she spends. And we have been given that money earned by Sima is rupees one lakh fifty thousand, and We have been also given that money saved by Sima is rupees fifty thousand. Students, thus we have to find the money spent by Sima. Students, in order to find out the money spent by Sima, we have to subtract. Money that Sima saves from the money that Sima earns. Thus, subtracting fifty thousand from one lakh fifty thousand, we get one lakh. So now, let us solve sum number eight after writing the necessary information. given to us and finding out the money that sima spends money earned by sima is given rupees 1 lakh 50000 money saved by sima is given rupees 50000 Therefore, money spent by Sima equals to one lakh fifty thousand minus fifty thousand, which is equals to rupees one lakh. Thus, money spent by Sima is rupees one lakh. Now let us find out the ratios and solve some a ratio of money earned by Sima to the money she saved equals to money earned upon money saved equals to one lakh fifty thousand upon fifty thousand. 
students now we can cut or cancel the common zeros thus canceling common zeros we get 15 upon 5 now reducing 15 upon 5 into simplest form by the scf 5 we get 15 divided by 5 upon 5 divided by 5 now dividing 15 by 5 and also 5 by 5 we get 3 upon 1 which is equals to 3 is to 1 the required ratio is 3 is to 1 now sum b ratio of money saved by sima to the money spent by her equals to money saved upon money spent equals to 50000 upon 1 lakh now cancelling common zeros we get 5 upon 10 Now reducing five upon ten into the simplest form by their SCF five, we get five divided by five and ten divided by five. Now dividing five by five and also ten by five. we get 1 upon 2 which is equals to 1 is to 2 thus the required ratio is 1 is to 2 now sum number 9 there are 102 teachers in a school of 3300 students find the ratio of the number of teachers to the number of students students in this question we have to find out the ratio of the number of teachers to the number of students and we have been given the number of teachers and the number of students which are 102 and 3300 respectively so now let us solve sum number 9 number of teachers are given 102 number of students are given 3300 therefore ratio of the number of teachers to the number of students equals to number of teachers upon number of students equals to 102 upon 3300 now reducing 102 upon 3300 in the simplest form by that scf 6 we get 102 divided by 6 upon 3300 divided by 6 now dividing 102 by 6 and also 3300 by 6 we get 17 upon 550 which is equals to 17 is to 550 so we can say that 
for every 17 teachers there are 550 students now sum number 12 cost of the gin pen is rupees 180 and cost of 8 ball pens is rupees 56 find the ratio of the cost of a pen to the cost of a ball pen students in this question we have to find out the ratio of the cost of one pen to the cost of one ball pen and we have been given the cost of the gin pens that is 12 pens which is rupees 180 and we have been also given the cost of 8 ball pens which is rupees 56 students so in order to find out the ratio of the cost of one pen to the cost of one ball pen first of all we have to find out the cost of one pen and one ball pen students in order to find out the cost of one pen and cost of one ball pen we will write down the statement and we know that when we write the statement it becomes clear to us that either we have to multiply or divide and if multiply then we comes to know that which number by which number that is we get the multiplicand and the multiplier and if divide then we comes to know that we have to divide which number by which number that is we get the dividend and divisor so now let us solve sum number 12 and find out the ratio of the cost of one pen to the cost of one ball pen after finding out the cost of one pen and one ball pen cost of dozen pen that is 12 pens equals to rupees 180 so cost of one pen equals to how much by cross multiplying we get 180 multiplied by 1 upon 12 now multiplying the numerator 180 with numerator 1 and keeping the denominator 12 as it is we get 180 upon 12 now dividing 180 by 12 we get 15 thus the cost of one pen is rupees 15 now let us find out the cost of one ball pen cost of 8 ball pens is rupees 56 so cost of 1 ball pen equals to how much by cross multiplying we get 56 multiplied by 1 upon 8 now multiplying 56 by 1 and keeping the denominator 8 as it is we get 56 upon 8. Now dividing 56 by 8, we get 7. Thus, the cost of one ball pen is rupees 
सेवन नाउ लेट एस फाइंड आउट दी रेशियो एंड सॉल्व सम नंबर ट्वेल्व रेशियो ऑफ द कॉस्ट ऑफ वन पेन टू द कॉस्ट ऑफ वन बॉल पेन इक्वल्स टू कॉस्ट ऑफ वन पेन बाय कॉस्ट ऑफ वन बॉल पेन व्हिच इज इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टीन बाय सेवेन स्टूडेंट्स फिफ्टीन बाय सेवेन इज इन दी सिंपलेस फॉर्म students there is no any common factor of 15 and 7 except 1 the 15 by 7 equals to 15 is to 7 students does the required ratio is 15 is to 7 students solve sum number 10 and 11 by yourselves students we will solve remaining sums afterward thank you and have a nice day